Hello again everyone, welcome to Infinite Realms, and guess who's back? Back again. Simon's back. Tell a friend. Ugh, I, I really wish this would die, but Simon um, basically has finally, in their latest update, which is, um, now, they put up the Pledge Manager April 28th, now on May 13th, two weeks later, They've put up a response so um of course they tell you make sure you pay because you know if you don't you're out money basically is what they're saying there yeah so it's like if you're already back you're you're we've talked about this you're you've got to pay end of discussion um then they start addressing the elephant in the, on the couch and i'm not going to read this whole thing but this this part right here from the moment we launched the Pledge Manor to the final shipping fees, we've read every comment you and your fellow backers have made. And we take your viewpoints and frustrations very seriously. We respect the trust you place in us when you make a pledge and constantly feel the weight of the responsibilities that come with that. I, <laughs> I just wanted to snip in a little... Read, yeah, you read every comment, then you deleted them on the places you could delete them. And, uh, I, I, I hate that. I hate that. Um, the rest of this is full of pretty much every catchphrase, buzzword, and headline you can imagine. From Ukraine to COVID to whatever. And it's just a bunch of... It's a box of excuses that everyone, can, anyone could come up with. I mean... <laughs> It's not much. So, um, it, again, if you want to read it, you can look it over. It's pretty standard stuff. It's nothing to write home about. This is not the point of the video, but I know if I did not actually address this, again, it's sort of the elephant in the room. What I did want to point out was um, <laughs> something that has been going on since this started is some of the defenders of Simon keep saying, well, you know, it costs so much for the space on the boat and they have to put that in and you know da 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 and they're talking about shipping from overseas and what King Average posted a great video today and I will link that in the description about wait a minute freight is part of the cost of your product that's already factored in for instance prime examples you order a Marvel Legend from Hasbro Pulse, the freight's already there. You're paying for the actual shipping. You're paying for FedEx or UPS or the USPS to send it to you. Freight is what it costs to get the warehouse. We know Simon has warehouses, at least one. This is already a known thing. So when I started thinking about this I'm like yeah yeah you're right so the freight was already in the cost when you bought the game so and it, it is implied in here that that's part of it too and it's like wait a minute that's part of your game costs so excuse me but um why exactly is my shipping up again? Because I'm paying for shipping from your warehouse to my house. And as far as I'm aware, shipping rates for UPS, which is probably how it's going to go, have not increased. And they're trying to avoid an increase because they know what will happen. They'll lose business. So, again, this, this doesn't make any sense. And the argument that we're paying for um, we're paying for space on the boat doesn't make sense. In fact, when you start putting into that context, every bit of this makes less sense because now it's now it's like, wait a minute, yeah, shipping from your warehouse to me, and I got to pay forty dollars for a small box, huh? Uh. Whew. Boy, this is just this just gets so out of hand. But 
again I'll link uh, King of Average down below it was a really informative video I really and you know he mentioned Simon but he also says he tries to avoid it because people try to say he hates on Simon and I think sometimes he does but this time I think he's got a very valid point in that you know we are paying we're probably paying for the freight too and if we are that's kinda just a little unethical but I'll let you see it for yourself and you, you can decide but anyway I just thought I'd put in this one little note um, about Marvel Zombies once again oh it's the <laughs> it's the story that won't end anyway that's it for Infinite Realms have a wonderful day don't forget to like and subscribe